Hey guys, let's jump right into it. Today I'm going to be doing this halo cut crease. This is in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so it's all pink everything my favorite color so if you guys want to watch me do my makeup stay tuned hi my name is Lay. welcome to my channel if you are a new makeup lover joining the channel I am a makeup artist my channel primarily consists of makeup videos I like to do reviews demos and makeup tutorials so come on join the family go ahead and hit the subscribe button it's super easy you hit the button that looks like this and you'll be subscribed to my channel and if you'd like to hit the bell to get notifications that'll mean a lot to me as well but another thing you can do to keep in contact with me is follow me on the socials so we have Twitter and Instagram I'm more active on Instagram but yeah so go ahead and click on those and subscribe to your girl so let's go ahead and do this face. I'm going to do one eye off camera and I'm also going to prime and get stuff together. So three, two, one, boom. So I went ahead and did one eye off camera. This is going to be a halo cut crease. This is using the Ooh La La palette by ColourPop. I have an entire series that I'm going to link in a card up below. This is just what I like to use. I love these monochromatic um, palettes. I have an entire playlist, like just, just try it out. So I'm gonna start by prepping my eyes. I do like to use a white base, especially when I'm going to be using vibrant colors. And since it is breast cancer awareness, let's go ahead and jump into these vibrant colors. So get a little closer. And now we're gonna work on this one eye. I already did some color correcting on my lower, underneath my eyes. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade number 14. I like to do this because I do like to do my entire eye prior to moving on to my foundation. That is just my preference. You can do it the opposite way. Whichever way works for you is perfectly fine. So the first shade we're gonna go in with is Caddy. It is this really pretty purple shade. I know it's pink, like breast cancer is pink but purple and pink go hand in hand my friend so I'm going to create my outline using the shade caddy and I'm going to use padding motions and this small packing brush this is usually the type of brush that you use for your lower lash line and then I'm going to switch brushes out and I'm going to be using my morphe m506 brush to blend out the edges and just to give you a nice seamless crease color because this is the color that's going to be the cut of the crease anytime you blend you do need to add back so the next shade that I'm going in with is the shade called sandbar this is a really pretty hot pink this is probably my favorite shade out of this entire palette just because I am a fan of vibrant colors so I'm adding that to these as my second layer yes there will be a third and I'm just blending that in using back and forth motions so the next color I'm going in with is poodle and I'm going to layer that as my third layer I do have another video where I have this similar technique going on where I use like purple and pink I'm sorry guys I will try to switch it up I just realized that these two looks look very similar and I will link the other um, I think I actually did it with my strawberry palette. So I will link that in a card up, up above. So yeah, so once that's blended, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and create my halo eye. I like to look up so that I know where my crease will begin. Um, I don't necessarily have hooded eyes, I don't think. I do believe that my eyes are slightly hooded because you know they do crease under and you do lose some of that lid space. So once I've created that cut crease area, I'm going to pat it in and then I'm going back in with all the shades that I put in my crease area starting with Caddy on the outer corners and then towards the center I'm going to go in with Sandbar. And I'm just going to go back and forth, yes we make the ugliest faces. I'm going to go back and forth between these two colors just so that I can get a nice even blend. You'll notice that I'm doing a lot of packing on the shade and then pulling it into the next color which would be that purple shade. It 
We'll also help to dip into the purple shade and pull that into the pink. That will give you a more blended look. And it just helps get rid of that harsh line of demarcation between the pink and the purple. As you can see, I'm doing it right here. I do like to leave like a bit of a halo look. I don't know, that didn't make sense. Anyways, so my lid shade is going to be the shade Tickled, which is this really pretty like silver pinky. I don't know, it's a very unique color it is a pink shimmer shade and it has a little bit of a shift so then I take the shade poodle I'm going to place that in between tickled and sandbar and I'm just going to pull those two shades together until they blend seamlessly now I'm going to tight line my upper lash line by going in with this essence matte liquid liner and then on my lower lashes I never do this I'm going to do the same halo eye. So I'm starting with Caddy, moving into Sandbar, and then I'm going to top it off with Tickled. Now I'm going to go ahead and tight line my lower lash line by going in with Swerve by ColourPop. I am in desperate need of a new one, so that is going to be on my list of new buys. Um, I'm trying not to spend, but I do need my liner and my Marc Jacobs one sucks. So for lashes, I'm going in with these XOXO Artistry Lashes. I love these lashes so much. These are in the style Alex, and this is, I believe, her dramatic line. I absolutely love these lashes. I highly suggest you check them out. So I'm going to have you back up a little bit, and now we're going to move on to face. I'm using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation, and this is in the shade Punta Cana, and I'm just going to use that to cover up my face. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, so this is the foundation that I have absolutely been loving. It is very, very full coverage. I love the shade of this. I don't have to mix it with anything. This foundation is like 20 bucks, so it's not really gonna break the bank, and it's in a squeezy bottle, so you don't have to worry about it breaking if you put it in your bag. Love it. So now I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes a little bit. So I'm going back in with that Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 14. And I'm just going to add a little bit to the outside of the foundation just to give it a little bit of brightness. I could have went in with number 15, but I didn't. So right here, I'm going to highlight all my main points that I want to stand out, which would be my chin, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. I do add a little bit to the tip of my nose because I am going to be adding highlight there, and that's just something that I like to do. So now I'm going to set my face using my MAC Prep and Prime translucent powder. I like to use a brush to stamp it underneath my eyes just because I find that I get the best results that way. And then sometimes I go in with my sponge, not always, but I go in with my sponge if I want to bake, but I don't think I did that today. So for bronzer, I'm going in with my NARS Casino bronzer. It's a really nice cool tone bronzer, so I think it goes really well with um, cool tone pinks. Pinks can be very warm and this could easily be overpowered by the warmth. But um, because I use a bronzer that has a slight coolness to it, it just helps to tone down the rest of my face so that you are more drawn to my, um, my eyes because that is the focal point of this look. Now I'm also just kind of brushing through a nose contour. It's not a real contour, it's like, you know, one of those fake me out contours um, where I just add a little bit of powder to my nose, nothing special. For my cheeks, I'm going in with this Kylie Cosmetic blush in the shade, I believe it's Virginity. I can't remember the name specifically. If I'm wrong, I will have it down in the description box as well as on my Instagram. I always have the products listed there. For a highlight, I'm going in with this Makeup Revolution highlight, which I almost forgot to show. This is a Makeup Revolution highlight. Um, again, the name will be down in the description box. This highlight is very blinding. It was seriously compared to the Lancome one that came out a couple of years ago. It was very popular, but it was limited edition. I highly suggest to pick this up. It's very inexpensive. You can find it at Ulta. And just look how blinding that is. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Glam Glow Setting Spray, which is also in a pink bottle. And then for lips, I'm using this ColourPop Lippy Stick. The name will be down in the description box. And it's this really cool tone blue pink. Since I did line my lips off camera, 
Um, it just, I don't know, it wasn't very pigmented, but it did give my lips just a little bit of color, which is what I needed. And then I'm going in with my NYX um, Butter Glosses. I cannot remember off the top of my head the name of this gloss, but again, I promise you everything will be down in the description box as well as on my social media. And then that actually completes this look. I was really in love with this look, but I gotta add my earrings, so hold on one second. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This video is in honor of all the breast cancer survivors, anyone dealing with breast cancer. Just know that we love you and you are in our prayers and thoughts. Until next time, beauties, stay blessed. Thank you.